hello good afternoon today I'm making two things today I'm making banana banana nut muffins and I'm making chocolate mousse my nephew wants me to make chocolate mousse for him so I want to make chocolate mousse first we're gonna start with the banana nut muffins so I have a cup and a half of a cup and a half of um, whole wheat flour a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one, te one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, two, two, two third cups of coconut sugar, which is really good, smells really good, three bananas, a half a cup of milk, a half a, a, half a cup of um, pecans, and two ta two tablespoons of milk and one egg so in this bowl we're going to put the flour can i go behind you flour salt baking powder baking soda, cinnamon, nutmeg. And you whisk this together. Okay? And you set aside. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put the wet the, the wet into the dry. So we already have the bananas mashed. Okay, so we put it in this bowl. Okay, bananas in the bowl. So then we're gonna put in the egg and we're gonna beat that. Oh, I forgot about my butter. I need the butter. I need six tablespoons of butter. And I have to melt it. I forgot about my butter. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. And I'm gonna melt it. So, six tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. So then we're going to put our sugar, right, our vanilla,
our milk. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do half, half of the um, the muffins with nuts and half without nuts. But I'm gonna pour the melted butter in. So I'm gonna pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. And I'm going to fold it. And if you wanted to use all purpose flour, you can. But I just wanted to try to use the whole wheat flour. Okay, so I have these pans. I have these pans here, which I'm going to spray. And my oven is at, um, my oven is at 425. It's preheated at 425. And I'm going to spray these pans. Okay, and I'm going to use this scoop. So these are just the regular banana muffins. And if you want to put chocolate chips in, you can. You could put walnuts, you could put pecans. So that's one set done. And this makes about 12. So now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the pecans in. Okay. I'm stirring the pecans. It's very quick and easy recipe. Okay. So then we put the this is the PK ones. I'm trying to get all of the batter in. Nothing goes to waste.
Okay, so I'm going to put it on this baking pan. And cook it for 20 minutes, okay? So this is the pecan and this is the plain banana muffins. So here it goes in the oven. Okay, it's about 20 minutes now. I'm going to take the muffins out, the banana muffins out the oven. And look how nice that looks. Look how nice that looks. So these are these are the plain banana muffins and these are the pecans. Okay? And they oh, this smells so good. So good. And they can easily they're really hot. I'm trying to find a butter knife. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. See how easy that comes out? This one, though. This one kind of stuck. And I sprayed it well. You know? Okay, so I'm going to let this cool. And then I'm going to plate it up. Okay, wow, it's hot. So I plate up. I plated up the muffins and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Look how soft that is. So this is a plain banana muffin and this is the one with the pecans in it. So, it's beautiful. I'll taste it. Delicious. You can taste the bananas. And it's not, it's not very sweet. It's good. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to make the chocolate mousse. Okay, so now I'm going to make the chocolate mousse. I have a quarter cup of, three, four cups of heavy cream, a cup of chocolate, chocolate chips. I have four egg yolks, two teaspoons of sugar, and one fourth cup of sugar. In here, I have one cup. I make the heavy cream first. I make the cool whip, the heavy cream, the cool whip, or the whipped cream first. I have one cup of heavy cream, and I'm going to put it on high speed, right, with the whisk, whisk attachment. And I'm going to pour two cups, two tab, two tablespoons of sugar, of white sugar. So I'm doing this first 
And then I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator. So you want this to be a nice, firm consistency. And I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla in it. Not too much, but a half a teaspoon. It's getting there. See, that didn't take too long. So this is what you're looking for. This is what you're looking for. Okay, this is nice and airy. Perfect. So I'm gonna take this out, put it in a container, and put it in the refrigerator. So I have my whipped cream into a container I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for later. So two eggs goes into four eggs, sorry, four eggs go into the mixer along with the sugar and we're going to mix this on high so it gets nice and frothy okay Into this saucepan, I'm going to put this three fourth cups of milk, heavy cream, into here and put it on just to warm it. Okay. Just to warm it. We don't want it to come to a boil, just to a warm. So we're looking this to be a light and fluffy egg mixture. And we're gonna use this to shave some chocolate on top of the chocolate mousse later, on, on top of the whipped cream. Just want it to come to a boil. So we're gonna temper the cream into the egg mixture. Okay, we don't want the egg mixture to, to cook. now see it's coming I don't know if you can see it it's getting very light
So I'm going to pour this back into this cup. I'm going to pour the mixture back into here. It's nice and so that's is, this is what you're looking for okay that's what you're looking for so now I'm going to I'm going to temper this milk this heavy cream into the yolks slowly pouring it in and the reason you're doing this, you don't want to cook the egg yolks, okay? You don't want to cook it. Slowly. Okay, now you can pour it in. So I'm going to return it to the pot, okay? Perfect. Return it to the pot, see how that is? And put it on medium heat and you keep stirring. I'm going to put the heat on on low so for three to five minutes you keep stirring until it comes to 160 degrees okay so right now I don't have a thermometer so I'm gonna do it for five minutes and then we're gonna add the chocolate and the, and the chocolate and the vanilla so we have to keep stirring so you want this to thicken up, okay? And if you have any lumps, what you do, you take a strainer and you strain out the lumps. That's just mean, it means if you have any egg yolks, any cooked egg yolks, you don't want that in there. So you take your spatula and you go around the sides of the pan. So three to five minutes, you keep stirring, you keep stirring. Because you don't want it to stick. You're looking for it to thicken up. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off now because it's getting nice and bubbly. And I'm gonna add the vanilla, okay? And I'm gonna add the chocolate chips. And I'm gonna keep stirring.
because basically you want the chocolate to melt. And this is semi-sweet chocolate. Dark semi-sweet chocolate. And look at that. You see how that is? It came out beautiful. It has no lumps. Fine. Oh, it smells so good. And this is how you make chocolate mousse. I'm going to move it off the, um, the stove because we don't want it to keep cooking. And that's our chocolate mousse. So I'm going to pour the, put this in a container. Let it cool for 40 minutes. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so it can get nice and thick. So that's our chocolate mousse. Okay? And you can use this to put this in a, um, a chocolate cake. This is our chocolate mousse. It is very velvety, very nice. Oh, oh, that is delicious. Okay, so I'm going to put it into a container, a bowl. So I'm going to pour it into this bowl and put it in a refrigerator. Okay, so all the chocolate mousse is in here. Look at that. Chocolate mousse. So I'm going to let it cool. I'm going to come back and play it up. So now I'm here. I got my, my chocolate mousse into a piping bag. I'm going to do it in here. I'm going to do it in this cute little one ounce jar. See how cute that is? So I'm going to pipe. Can you see? Look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And I'm going to pipe some in here in this other bigger jar bowl, not jar bowl. All right, so now I have my heavy cream, and I'm going to. Mm, and I'm gonna dollop and just a touch on the side. Okay. So I'm, now I'm going to shave I 
I'm going to shave some chocolate on top of it. Chocolate mousse. That's my chocolate mousse. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you guys next week.